After three days of biking through El Salvador, day four becomes my biggest challenge yet. Today's adventure is filled with difficult roads, a broken down bike, police officers, heartwarming locals with touching stories, and some big life lessons. Welcome to day four. I'm a few kilometers in, pulled over on the side of the road. My bag is not staying on my bike, it keeps falling. I'm exhausted, I'm worn down, and based on elevation, I know this is gonna be my hardest day yet. Yep. Just some morning construction and traffic. This is where I'm at right now. I am walking on the mud because there is mud and construction everywhere. I'm exhausted. I'm only like five kilometers into day one, which this is supposed to be the easiest part of the day, so I'm in trouble. Got dust flying in my eyes from the cars. The roads here aren't all great. Um, for cars, it's not a big deal, but for biking, there are a lot of potholes, there are a lot of glass, a lot of stuff, geez. I'll catch you guys soon. I've made it here to Taluka, which is the first town along the road, about 11 kilometers. Absolutely everyone is staring at me, but um, I need some fuel. Naranja con guineo. También. 1.25. I am getting a fresh juice here, getting some banana, orange, and I don't know what else she puts in it, but I asked for no sugar because they always dump a lot of sugar in these drinks. It costs $1.25 and I really need something cold and refreshing to boost my body and my morale. What is your name? Lisette. Isel. Lisette. Lisette. Yes. Un gusto. Mateo. Gracias, Igual. Gracias. Uh, I'm gonna drink this, get a bite to eat, and then we're gonna talk about the game plan for today because I think it's gonna change. Rápido, llegó aquí, le digo. Rápido, de qué? Llegó aquí. Sí? Allá lo vi que venía. Ah, okay. Estoy cansado. Se ve algo que tiene la bicicleta. Sí. I'm just walking around the town here and I found a little spot with some rice and beans, some eggs. I'm just gonna get some rice and beans and a coffee, a little bit of fuel, a little bit of carbs, tiny bit of protein. Should be good. Gracias. Gracias. What is your name? Kevin. 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 Mucho gusto, Mateo. What? What's up, Mateo? You're from here? Yes. Teluca. Tecoluca. Tecoluca. Mm-hmm. You're working here. In what you work? Taxi. Me regalas un café. Por favor. Ahora está más seguro aquí. Está más seguro. Piensa que el país es seguro para extranjeros también. Sí. Hola, buenos días. ¿Te gusta vivir aquí en El Salvador? Sí, claro. Muy, muy lindo. Un país en desarrollo. Un país muy lindo. Un país muy tranquilo. Eh, pues vamos en un camino a la, a, a la seguridad. Es bueno venir a conocer el lugar primero para poder opinar. Aquí la situación difícil es eh, la economía. Parte de trabajo, parte... Mmm, aquí a veces... Ahorita sí hay trabajo, pero hay momentos de que no haya trabajo. El problema que teníamos aquí era de inseguridad. Los invito a que todos pues, vengan a visitar nuestro país, que es un país muy lindo, muy maravilloso, muy... Grandísimo. ¿Cuál es el sueño más grande de su vida? Ah, pues, lograr mis metas. Lograr mis metas y sacar adelante a mi familia. ¿Cómo que marca? Tener un buen trabajo, día y mañana. 
de cara adelante de mi familia y de, de mis hijos sean alguien en la vida. Ese es mi meta. Gracias por compartir conmigo. Ya sabes. <risa>
on the open road again. I'm feeling a lot better than I was before I stopped in town. My knee is still hurting quite a bit, but uh, the goal is just to make it about 13 kilometers to San Vicente and uh, call it a day there and uh, pick the bike back up tomorrow. Got a roadblock here though. Not sure what's happened. Ooh, looks like there was a crash between a car and a bus. There were some police officers there on site already, but uh, didn't seem like anyone would have been hurt, but didn't look uh, good, let's say. As much as I want, of course, to be riding all the way up this hill here. I have to be smart um, in terms of how much harder I can push my knee and my body right now. Luckily, I have changed my plan. So I do have a lot of time to get to San Vicente. But uh, yeah. Whew, big truck coming. This guy over there, waiting for the bus stop, is just laughing at me. Calm down, Matt. Think of Kevin and Douglas and all the kind people you've met. They'll push me through. I'm gonna fix it. It's gonna be a tough day, but I'll get through. Jeez. They're going fast, but check out that volcano. So I found a bike shop here in San Vicente because I have no idea what's wrong with my bike but something is wrong because it's just so difficult to pedal. Fricción con el freno y la llanta, o el ring. Okay. He thinks there was maybe some friction between the brake and the rim, so he fixed it a little bit. Um, he's gonna put a little oil on my uh, chain. I don't know if that's the issue, but it can't hurt. As I was pushing my bike to where I'm staying, I noticed that the brakes are just rubbing against the rim even more than before, so unfortunately that guy who helped me and was really nice made it worse because I can hear it really loud now. Um, so I'm going to try to see if I can find where he was and see if he can help me out and fix it this time because um, I wouldn't be able to ride it tomorrow like this. So I'm replacing this part here that's just having a lot of friction with the rim and the tire is kind of moving back and forth a bit because to be honest this bike isn't really meant for what I'm using it for. I bought this bike about three days before I set off on my journey in San Salvador. So I bought this in the capital city at some random bike shop uh, with no name. La llanta es la, la llanta la que así, eh. Pero ¿sabes? piensa que está... Está como deformada, pero... Pero así queda en el ring esa llanta. El ring está bien. El ring ya, 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 ya pasa bien libre. Ya no se frena. Ahí solo que vaya demasiado rápido. Cuando va demasiado rápido, se puede sentir un poquito la vibración. 
Tengo un buen día. So the guys in the shop that I went back to, they were super, super kind and friendly. They did a really thorough check on my bike and I think we fixed all the problems. Cuando empieza tu día? A las 5 de la mañana. De verdad. A las 5 de la mañana. Desde 5 de la mañana hasta 10 de la noche. Vendiendo café. Vendiendo café. Wow. Duro. Pues un gusto, Manuel. Que tenga un buen día. Now that I think my bike is fixed, I am going to explore the town of San Vicente a little bit. It's not a huge town, but it looks really nice. It looks like there is a church in the middle that you might be able to climb up to. And yeah, just gonna enjoy the feeling of feeling like I'm rejuvenated. Not my body, but my bike. But that's over half the battle, I think. <laughs> We got some old-fashioned shoe cleaning here. Just some men hanging out, getting their shoes cleaned in the park. Ooh, look at this little church. I think it is, I assume it is. Check out this beautiful view. Oh my gosh. This is just like a bell tower. There's the church. These views are absolutely stunning and I mean look at that there's a volcano behind me what the heck that's incredible yeah wow today's a good day it was rough but it's a good day every day is a good day to be alive today was quite the day it was a tough one and it was a reminder that not everything always goes as planned and that's okay i just have to roll with the punches and try to keep a positive outlook on the situation but some great things did happen today i mean the guys at the bike shop were incredibly friendly and helpful i'm so thankful for them and kevin from this morning what an awesome dude Anyways, I'm gonna end the video here for today, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe down below if you're not already. If you wanna continue following along my adventure as I cross El Salvador by bike. See you guys tomorrow.